Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says x squared plus ix plus two equals zero. And it wants us to solve for x. This i coefficient can be thought of two different ways. You can think of it as i squared is equal to negative one or i is equal to the square root of negative one. It's called the imaginary number. And you can do a lot of useful things with this i. But for this video, I was wondering, can we use quadratic formula to solve this quadratic if the coefficient is imaginary? Let's try it out. So a is the coefficient for x squared, and up here that would be an implied one. So in the place of this a, we can plug in one and the same thing for this a. And b is the coefficient for x, this is where the i comes in. So in the place of this b, we can plug in i, and we can do the same thing to this b. And last, c is the constant, which is two up here, so we can change this c to two. And now we can clean things up. Let's copy down the negative i and the plus or minus and the square root. And for this i squared, we know that i squared is equal to negative one, so I'm gonna change this to negative one. And then we're gonna subtract four times one times two, which is equal to eight. And then on bottom, the two times one is equal to two. Next, let's focus on this radical. We have negative one minus eight, which is equal to negative nine. We can split up this root negative nine to be root negative one times root nine. And now this root negative one, if we look up here, is equal to i. So we can change this into i. And then the root nine is equal to three. So now we have x is equal to negative i plus or minus three i over two. This plus or minus is giving us two solutions. We have one for the plus and one for the minus. And now for the first one, negative i plus three i is equal to two i, and two divided by two cancel each other out. So we have x equals i for the first one. And then for this one, negative i minus three i is negative four i, and negative four divided by two is negative two. So the other solution is negative two i. So the quadratic formula did seem to work, but let's check our answers. Let's copy down the original equation. And in the place of both of these x's, we wanna plug in negative two i. For the first term, negative two i squared, the squared is gonna go both to the negative two and to the i. And then for the second term, we can bring down the negative two and i times i is equal to i squared and the rest of this can be brought down. And then before we move on, negative two squared is the same thing as negative two times negative two, which is equal to positive four. For the next step, let's copy this down, and then i squared is equal to negative one, so in the place of both of these i squareds, we can plug in negative one. Four times negative one is negative four, and negative two times negative one is positive two. And then negative four plus two plus two is equal to zero. So we end up with zero equals zero, so the first one checks out. So now let's check the second one. In the place of both of these x's, we can plug in i. So we end up with i squared plus i squared plus two equals zero. And then i squared is equal to negative one, so each of these i squareds can change into negative one. And then negative one plus negative one plus two is equal to zero. So we end up with zero equals zero, and the second one checks out. So the quadratic formula did work for an imaginary coefficient, and we now have our answers. Let's put a box around them. How exciting.